Hello everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be solving Check Your Understanding 33 from the kinematic section. So basically in this problem, we have a UFO that is flying horizontally at a very high altitude with a speed u. That is neta, which is less than one, times the speed of light. So the UFO is emitting sharp light pulses at regular and very small intervals. Uh, it's almost as if you can consider this as a blink. So it's like, okay, blue pulse appeared and immediately disappeared. So this is how the pulses are appearing and reappearing. So, and we have to find the speed of the UFO as observed by a guy on the ground at the point O, when the UFO appears at an angle of theta with the vertical. So we have to, you know, solve this using normal Galilean uh, relativity that we learn in our syllabus. We don't have to take into account the theory of special relativity or anything like that. So give this problem a good try guys and then you can check out the solution. Okay, so this is the situation that we have been given in the current problem. Okay, so now let's assume that uh, the UFO did not leave any light pulse yet. So let's mark this situation as t equal to zero. Okay, so just for the sake of imagination guys, assume that it's midnight and the entire sky is black and you cannot see anything other than the light pulse. And let's say the UFO at time t equal to zero turned on a blue light pulse, okay? Okay, and let's just say at just dt seconds after time t equal to zero, at time t equal to zero, let's say the UFO turned on its blue light pulse. Now the interesting thing is this, in this problem is that right at the instant that he turned on the blue light pulse, the observer won't be able to see it. And the reason for that is as at the end of the day is just a light ray, so it'll take some time, even though it's negligible, it'll take some time to travel along this line to reach the guys, reach the observers eyes, right? So there will be a time delay, you know, between turning this light on and being perceived by the observer. So, uh, so let's call that time as t1. So this is basically the time after which the observer sees the blue light pulse. So that will be equal to this distance, let's just name it as r. So this time t1 is going to be r divided by c as the light pulse is traveling at the speed of light, right? Okay, so now let's talk about the next light pulse. So let's just say this distance over here is x um, and let's say the UFO has traveled some distance dx forward. Now, as uh, it is given in the problem that the UFO releases uh, light pulses after very short durations, right? So that's why we can consider this dx distance after which the UFO releases the next pulse to be very small. Now, let's say the UFO sends a red light pulse, okay? So what is happening till now, the guy, you know, at t time t equal to zero, UFO turned on blue pulse. And after time t equal to r by c, the guy saw the blue pulse. So let's just call this distance as r plus dr. So basically after the blue pulse, the guy, it takes a time, it takes an additional time of dx by u plus r plus dr divided by c for the observer to see the red light. Now let's try to understand this. So, so blue pulse was released at time t equal to zero, right? And after that, the UFO traveled a distance dx forward. So, in, so the time taken for that is going to be dx divided by u, which is the speed of the UFO, right? Plus now, and after that point, the UFO released a red light pulse, which takes a time of r plus dr divided by c to reach the observer's eyes. So now if you ask the observer what he saw, a blue light pulse, and after that he saw a red light pulse at a separation of dx, and the time elapsed between these two events is going to be t2 minus t1. Now why is this t2 minus t1? So from time t equal to zero, it took a time of r by c for the blue light to enter his eyes, and from t equal to zero, it took a time of t2 for the red light to enter his eyes. So the time period, so the time elapsed between these two events will be t2 minus t1. So basically the velocity at which the guy is perceiving the UFO to be moving at is simply how the position of these dots are changing with respect to time, and that is going to be dx divided by t2 minus t1. If you do t2 minus t1, the r by c gets cancelled out and this will be dx by u plus dr by c. So now how do we relate dx with dr? So if for that we can just simply drop a perpendicular over here. Um, now I can consider, consider this distance as roughly r. So if I consider this small differential triangle over here, this distance is dx. So, and this angle is going to be theta guys because um, the angle with the vertical is theta. So the normal makes an angle of theta with the horizontal. So dr, which is basically this distance over here, is going to be dx sine theta. So now I can substitute dr as dx sine theta. Uh, and guys, I can write c as u divided by neta. As, and from here, after solving, we'll obtain the perceived velocity as u divided by one plus neta sine theta. So as you can see, the, according to this guy, the UFO is traveling at a rate smaller than u. And the reason for that is time delay it takes for the pulses to reach his eyes. And uh, so you can see from this expression, if neta was uh, very small, that is basically if UFO was traveling at a speed much less than c, this would essentially be just u, but as so, but if we do not neglect that value, then the guy perceives the velocity of the UFO to be less than its real velocity. So that was it for this video, guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below. And that's it. Thanks for watching.